guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share my top 10 beauty products of 2022. So let's get started. The first product I tried this year was that I fell in love with is the Dior Forever Matte Foundation. I heard Angie Hot and Flashy talking about this and highly recommending it, and it's everything she said it would be. I have combination to oily skin, um, and especially this year, at least part of the year, we were still wearing masks and whatnot, and I found that this foundation truly lasts, uh, um, holds up to the heat, humidity, and also mask wearing that was happening. So this is the Forever Matte version. They also make a glowy version as well, and I am in the shade 1.5N, and it's a close enough um, skin tone match, but I might try one of the other ones um, that's around this one. I, I don't know if it's exactly perfect, but the good news is, is they do have 40 different shades, so it's a pretty, you're guaranteed to find your shade range. Uh, this is transfer proof, 24 hour foundation, high perfection, concentrated floral skin care with sunscreen, SPF 15. And the active ingredients for sunscreen are octisalate, 3.5% and uh, titanium di dioxide, 3.76%. So I highly recommend this. This holds up and you need very little to get a lot of coverage. And yeah, like I said, it just lasts and it looks like skin at the end of the day. So the other complexion product I tried this year, and this is not a new product, but it is new to me. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. And I have the shade Creme. And so Jouer is a product that I have just never tried. It's been around a long time and it's always interested me. And so this year I finally decided to pick up their concealer when it was on sale at Sephora. And then later, most recently, I also picked up their bronzer as well, which I love. Um, but in particular, this concealer, I love for the same reasons as that Dior foundation and those two pair together. So if you're my skin tone, pay attention to the shade names that I'll list down below. But overall, it has a pretty large uh, doe foot here. And it's just a nice creamy formula with high coverage. I tend to struggle with dark circles, um, also as I'm aging fine lines, and I find that this doesn't accentuate the fine lines, and it lasts really well throughout the day. It also pairs really well with the Becca, now Smashbox, um, the Salmon Under Eye Primer uh, Color Corrector, so I really like this. It says it's a creaseless, soft matte hyaluronic acid formula. So really like this concealer. It's um, one of my top faves now. All right, so moving into eyeshadow, I talked about these in one of my recent videos, which I'll link down below, but More Cosmetics is another brand that is new to me that I've tried out this year, and in particular, these potted eyeshadows, these are their Star Show Shadow Pots. I picked up two colors. If you're curious, again, go try them. Go look at that video, I should say. Uh, these are phenomenal. They are easy one and done sh shadows. I got the shade Muse and also the shade, um, what is this one? Showtime, number four and number five. Comes with these uh, tamps that um, tamp down the product, keep it in there, and also um, keep the product from drying out. But these are what those two shades look like. I, I absolutely love these. I've used these in two videos now, one where I uh, featured the Mora Cosmetics products that I picked up and then the other was the Christmas makeover with my sister and you could tell how uh, shocked we were, particularly at this new shade, how pretty it looks all over the lid. So if you're curious about the one and done eyeshadow look, go check out that video. But these are standout products. Um, when I do place another or order with Mora, I'm definitely gonna look at the other colors in this range and um, pick those up. The other eyeshadow palette that I tried, or my favorite eyeshadow palette of the year, I should say, is this this one by Clio. It's a Korean brand. I also mentioned this in my Japanese beauty haul. And this is their shade and shadow palette in the shade Shadow Gallery. And it's just absolutely stunning. If you love neutrals, like true neutrals, uh, you will absolutely love this. The palette has great pigmentation. You have a lot of 
uh, light mats, mid-tone mats, deeper mats here, as well as some uh, essential shimmers and uh, yeah, shimmery shades. These are like kind of foiled. Some of them um, look uh, like glitter toppers almost, but it's not chunky glitters. Um, I, I don't like glitters myself, and so I find that I really love these. And then this is a really soft shimmer, like a, almost a satin kind of shimmer. And uh, it can also be used as a highlight. And this one can be used as a contour as well. I really love this uh, for every day, but also as a supporting palette when I want to use these more like glittery shades, such as the Mora shades. Um, yeah, so a great standalone palette for every day, but also a great supporting palette for other shade palettes that you might have. Alright, so the next makeup product I want to mention is this Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Mascara. So I've been struggling with a lot of, um, with the heat and humidity, and also I find when I go into work or I'm being social and I'm just naturally... Um, my face makes a lot of movements like and I'm smiling a lot especially and just engaging in conversation I find that even the mascara on my upper lashes transfers down here and I start to look like raccoon eyes how that happens I don't know but it was happening with every single mascara I have been using which I have a lot of these sample sizes in my collection and it was happening with every single one of them like to the point where I was embarrassed when I would go into the bathroom and realize, oh my god, why didn't they tell me that I literally have black under eyes? So I kept hearing about this tubing mascara, which is new to me. I had never tried any. And this Kali Ray came out this year, I believe. And this is a tubing formula. So basically it coats your lashes all the way around. And it um, doesn't really come off with oil. You, It just comes off with water. So the oils in your skin don't affect it. And I truly find that this is all that it claims to be. So it comes with this um, fiber brush right here. Coats the lashes really well and it lives up to the claim. I don't get smudging even if I'm really talkative, I'm smiling a lot, you know, squinting, you know, as I'm talking, really animated, it doesn't transfer at all in heat, humidity, social settings, etc. So I really love this. And I got this in one of the Sephora Favorites Mascara Finds, one of those kits that they have where they have five different mini sizes and then you get a coupon to get a full size. So I got that so that I could try a bunch of new to me mascaras and knowing that I really wanted to try this one. And so, yeah, long story short, this is by far the best mascara I've tried and will continue to use it. And I've already got, this one's almost empty. I already traded the certificate in for the full size. So I really like this Kali Ray uh, Come Hell or High Water Mascara. All right, so the last makeup product or favorite that I have for this year is the Ilia Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balm. So as you can see here, I got this in one of my Sephora orders and it's actually a generous lip sample uh, that they gave. So they gave all eight shades in the range. I didn't realize until I was looking at the product description on the website, but they there are eight shades in, the, in this uh, formula and they included all eight shades. And as you can see, it's this type of packaging. So you get multiple uses out of each color. And so I love that. Uh, I get to try the entire formula lineup to figure out which shades work best for me. And spoiler alert, I love this formula. So I am getting kind of picky with my lip, uh, lip choices. So lipsticks are all right. I tend to gravitate more towards matte lipsticks. I'm not a fan of lip glosses anymore. Lip oils are okay. But I really love this formula because it's like a true lip balm but with a hint of color. So I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now, and I am wearing this second shade in right here. I've only used the two. This one's also really pretty, kind of a, uh, a hint of berry in there, but you can see it. They also included more of these like wine shades, some red shades, and some more brownie shades as well. Um, and so I will definitely, once I do finally finish this up, which again, it's going to take a while, 
um, because you need so little product, but um, I will definitely be purchasing a full size of this. Uh, so it says it's a sheer lightweight look color, meets ultra hydrating balm. It's blended with nourishing shea butter, skin reviving rose hip seed oil, and active levels of moisture boosting sea succulent. So it's the lip quenching formula it delivers a kiss of color that builds with each swipe. And so I would say that if you want a deeper color, you just, you know, can continue to put on more product. But I kind of like these more hint of color, kind of um, my lips, but, you know, just a slight tint. And it's, it's really pretty and it's also very hydrating. Perfect for the lighter makeup looks that I'm doing every day uh, now. All right, so let's jump into skincare. So the first skincare product I discovered this year is the Dalton Mushroom Serum. So this is the Skin Doll Skin Genius Hyaluronic Hydrating Serum with Reishi Mushroom. I just call it the Mushroom Serum. Um, but basically this it has hyaluronic acid um, and the Reishi Mushroom. And it's a multi-purpose hydrating and repairing serum uh, for a visibly plump effect. It's an oil-free serum formulated with all-star skin supporting ingredients, including niacinamide, which I love, uh, coconut water and rice nutripeptides. It hydrates, improves the overall appearance of skin, and it's a lightweight gel texture. And I would say that, so this is actually a full bottle. I just finished my first bottle, um, and I've already got a backup, this backup. So I really love this. It has a dropper, as you can see, um, and it's kind of a thicker gel serum. This is so good. So earlier this year, I was struggling with a lot of acne, in particular cystic acne, which if you have dealt with, you know is really difficult. It's painful and it's hard to get rid of. Um, I will say this helped a lot, I felt like, at least personally. Um, I feel like it's helped a lot with my acne. It um, doesn't clog my pores. It's very hydrating, as it says. And overall, just very nourishing, and I highly recommend this mushroom serum. And it is made in the USA. All right, the other skincare product is funny that this year in particular, I found like my skin holy grails um, that I keep repurchasing over and over again. So the first being the serum, and then the next it being this moisturizer. So these two together, I kind of discovered mushrooms for skincare and the benefits of them. Do your research on it. Um, I feel like it's helped clear up my acne for sure. This is a mushroom um, moisturizer from Pacifica. It's their Wake Up Beautiful Overnight Retinoid Cream with retinoid, melatonin, and mushrooms. And so this comes in a glass bottle. The serum also is in a glass bottle as well. Very uh, luxurious packaging here. And as you can see, this is actually my second one that I've already gone through. So I'm almost finished with my second uh, jar of this. I've already got a third re ready and waiting to go. But this is such a hydrating, lightweight moisturizer that like literally when you start rubbing it into your skin, it starts melting down. Almost, not melting. I don't know. It just starts to feel more like water than anything else. It's not a heavy cream at all and for that reason again I think is why it helped a lot with the or one of the reasons why it helped a lot with the acne and yeah I'm obsessed so it's 100% vegan it says cruelty free they have raised the price this year as a lot of uh, companies have due to inflation but you you can get this on sale I think full price it's around $25 at Target and Ulta but you can get it on sale for like 30% off if you wait for an Ulta sell or an, a Target sell as well. So I highly recommend those two, the serum and the moisturizer together. My favorite nighttime um, skincare regimen. So about once a week, I like doing a an exfoliating facial. And I discovered this product. This is the Youth to the People Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial. So this is a, actually has uh, chemical and physical exfoliants. So this is what it looks like. I got, I got a jar of the, like a mini, probably half size of this in the Youth to the People holiday kit from 2021. And 
I loved it. And so I, this is the full size I've since repurchased. So I wanted to just show this. It's not chunky glitters. If anything, it feels like super, super fine sand almost. You're not going to be able to see it, but it's not like it truly feels like what I imagine microderm abrasion to be, um, which I don't do. I just use this lightly, use it on the face and add a little water, continue rubbing, add a little more water, you know, so you're kind of diluting the formula as you continue to buff away the dead skin cells. But I mean, I, I've always felt like exfoliating helps, but this product in particular, I feel, I feel like really gets rid of the dead skin cells. Um, and it's really good to use like once a week. I use it on Sunday nights and yeah, I love it. I uh, highly recommend this, this um, Yerba, Mate, Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial. So it says it's formulated to smooth skin texture, even skin tone, and improve radiance. Uh, you leave it on for two to three minutes and it has enzymes that activate. And then you add water to gently massage and circular motions and uh, rinse off. So you can use it one to three times per week. Again, I only use it once. It is a little pricey. I think it's around $45, $48, but you're using a little product and it's only once a week. So this jar is gonna last quite a while. This is a two fluid ounce jar. Okay, so the last and 10th final product I uh, loved this year and discovered is these Dashing Diva nail stickers. So these are the Gloss Ultra Shine Gel Palettes. You can find these at a lot of stores now from Target, Ulta, TJ Maxx. I like getting mine from TJ Maxx and Marshalls because they're $4.99, which is the sale price that Ulta and Target have. So, And they have a lot of the current designs as well. So this is one of them. Um, and they, they include different sizes of the nail stickers. You just find which one works for you. They have an alcohol pad. You do that on your clean nail. Then you kind of buff the top of your nail and that kind of helps the, the sticker stick onto it and stick for longer. And then, yeah, you just um, put the stickers on, seal it, and then file off the, the tip of the uh, sticker to your nail length. So it works with pretty long, as you can see. Some of these are really long stickers, but I keep my nails short and I really love these. So this is the hang tight color. Got this from TJ Maxx, I believe. It's kind of a pretty uh, purple. And I love doing my own nails at home. Normally I paint them, but inevitably I always smudge it. It doesn't matter how long I take, you know, taking my time, how long I let it dry. I think it'll be really dry and I'm set, good to go. And I will still end up with like a fingerprint smudge or I'll touch it against my clothing or a blanket or something and then I have that imprint on it. I just always smudges. Plus, no matter what nail polish I use, it's always gonna chip like in five to seven days. Whereas these, they say it lasts up to two weeks and it truly does. So these that I have on my nails right now, these are the Christmas, one of the Christmas designs that Target had. This is really pretty dark green and then it has like present. Um, and then a Christmas tree that had a glitter one. And that's the other thing I like about it. With regular nail polish, I'm not talented enough to do these designs, but especially on these, these in particular, I've had people stop and say, well, I've had these on that it looked like, ask me, oh, you know, which salon did you go to? And I'm like, oh, it's just the Dashing Diva palette, you know, down at Target. So <laughs> anyways, I love these. They last a long time. So I put these on the Thursday before Christmas it is now the day after New Year's, so these are almost at two weeks. And you can see that they're kind of, my nail bed is starting to grow out a little bit, but that's really the only uh, telling factor that you can see. They look, still look really good, they stick really well. Some of, um, you know, as my nail grows out, sometimes the end, like if I've been doing a lot of dishes or scrubbing. I've been cleaning my house this week, so that's one example. It'll start to uh, raise up from the edge, but I'll just cut my nail, so then it's like the fresh sticker is there. So I really like these. Honestly, And um, I've tried these for probably three or four times now, and they've all lasted really well. So I wanted to show just a few of the ones that I've started to collect um, oh, and I should say, so most of these come with 32 gel nail strips, 
And because of the different size, um, I can see getting two uses out of one palette. So anyways, this is a pretty gray option that I have. And I just love the different accents that they have, which is something I would never be able to get on my own. And then this is one of the newer ones I just picked up. This is a really pretty jade green. And then it has a few, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but this is like a white duochrome that kind of has a blue shift to it. And then it has this pretty gold dot there. So just really cute designs. This is called uh, Healing Space. And I got it from TJ Maxx. So yeah, I really love those. I got some for my sister for Christmas and she's excited to use them as well, so. All right, so those are my top 10 beauty discoveries of 2022. I will have a future video coming up where I talk about my top home products of 2022 and uh, like clothing I'll include in that one as well. Um, I don't think I have 10 yet. I was making a list. It's probably more like five to eight products, but I wanted to save like the top of the top products. So anyways, I want to hear your top products of 2022, whether it's um, makeup, skincare, nails, um, home products, whatever you have, let me know in, in the comments down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you will consider subscribing and thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.